Hello everyone, welcome back to Major Hi-Fi. I'm Luke. I look very shiny for some reason. How are you doing? How have you been? I hope you've been well. You know, I talked to your parents on the phone last night and they told me that you're in huge trouble because you spent over a thousand dollars on headphones without telling them. Uh, they said that you bought the Ultrasone Edition 11 and what a coincidence because I have one right here. That's right, today we're going to be talking about the Ultrasone Edition 11. Wow, did that make any sense? That was so fast. Today we're going to be talking about the Ultrasone Edition 11. This is a special edition headphone. It is an open back headphone and let's go into the unboxing. Actually, I've already taken everything out of the box because um, it's too big to unbox on the table. Long story. First of all, we get a leather carrying case, uh, you know, drawstring bag, pretty standard, good to protect your headphones. Oh, whoops. Um, you know, does the trick. Not gonna lie, wouldn't mind a hard shell case. Uh, this runs for $11.99.99, so wouldn't mind a case. Uh, but I get it, I get it. Can't all. Can't all have everything, can we? We also get a headphone stand included, so that's nice. That's actually a great bonus to have a headphone stand. Then we have a cleaning cloth. There we go. And then we get a cable, a braided silver cable with 0.78 millimeter connectors and a 3.5 millimeter termination. And here are the headphones themselves. These are the Edition 11. They are quite the luxurious look, are they not? We've got a wooden ring around the ear cups, definitely a go-to for making things look extra fancy because it does do that. Um, a nice cool kind of a grill going on around the, you know, around the backing here. A very good sturdy steel frame. These are very lightweight, but they've definitely got some nice heft to them in this area like you'd want to make sure that they are very durable. Uh, the highlight, I think, of the looks and the feel on these is the ear pads and the headband. I don't know if I can quite illustrate how soft and like plush these are and they um, have this like fuzzy uh, extra soft material on them and the same goes for the headband which is very very soft these are just an incredibly comfortable fit uh, and i think they're pretty good looking too we've got a uh, extension here let me extend these for my extra big head yeah i think they're a good look cool look Right? It's a cool look. I think it's a cool look. You know, they're not small. Uh, they can't really be for a number of reasons. You know, they are over ear headphones. We can only get so small and uh, dainty with those, can't we? But they're not like huge or anything and they don't feel heavy at all. They're super, super light. So passes the test in my books. Only complaint would really be that uh, this like super soft material, um, the fabric on the outside of the ear pads and the headband definitely um, Maybe it needs a cleaning every once in a while because you know it can kind of things can get stuck to it the same way like a blanket can or something like that. Uh, nothing crazy. It's not like it's uh, you know pulling in lint all you know from all over the atmosphere, but definitely uh, you know you might need to brush it off occasionally. When I was doing the close-ups for this, I was trying to get them as clean as possible. Um, but that's all, it's not a big deal. These use 40 millimeter drivers, which use what Ultrasone refers to as true text biocellulose fiber compound membranes. Not quite sure what that is. I engineer audio, not physical compounds, but it sounds very fancy and complicated. What I do uh, know about is that the sound transducers on these are decentralized, which is supposed to basically bring the outer ear more into the listening process. and. That is supposed to basically improve the width of the sound stage, and we're going to get to how that does very soon. And these have an impedance of 32 ohms and a frequency response of 6 hertz to 42 kilohertz. All right, so let's talk about how these sound. Okay, so the sound stage on these is kind of the most important part of them. It's definitely going to be their biggest draw, and it is not quite something I've really heard before to this extent. Of course, all open back headphones are going to be wider, but this is just in another league. This is a whole different world. It's doing a whole different thing. Uh, I'm gonna try my best to describe it, but frankly, it's something I really haven't experienced before quite at this level. So it's even like, sort of beyond me. There is that feeling of inside your head that you get with, you know, headphones. Uh, it's non-existent. This is like completely, all the sound is outside. It all feels like it's outside. 
And I know that open back headphones kind of do that, but this is, this is different. Um, it's almost more like a speaker-like experience. You know, the music is not being infused into you. It's a surround sound, 100% surround sound experience. Uh, and it's very, very, very unique. It's one of those uh, headphones that's almost slightly disorienting upon your first listen because you've just never quite had an experience like that. There's definitely other ultrasound headphones that kind of go into this territory, but this is just uh, on another level in terms of width. It's a stadium-like level of width going on in the soundstage on this. It's just absolutely crazy. Uh, and it really is one of those kind of reframing, re-like, evaluating type of sound stages that just gives you a whole new perspective on your song. Moving on to frequency response, it's almost hard to evaluate these, honestly, tuning-wise, not because I couldn't hear them or couldn't hear the tuning, mostly because the frequency response of these is fairly neutral in certain uh, respects, but I don't really see anyone buying these because they uh, have like a really good bass or buying them because they have, you know, the perfect mid-range. I mean, they do potentially have those attributes, but the sound stage, the imaging is really what you'd probably be coming to these for. Um, obviously you want the tuning to be good too and to your liking and maybe if you have very strong preferences that might make or break it but I don't see the tuning on these being the deciding factor for why you would buy them. I think the sound stage is definitely the reason to get these. The tuning does matter of course but the sound stage is going to make you much less concerned. Um, it's going to really be the sort of most I feel like dominating factor of these headphones. So I just want to sort of preface it with that and that the tuning just kind of almost felt like a, just it's not something I really spent a lot of time thinking about. All I could think about was this kind of sense of space these created, the very unique sense of space. But I will tell you what the tuning of that sense of space is. So to start off, the low end is of course very stereo spread. We're not going to have anything really happening directly in the center like you would on uh, other headphones. It's a great low end for getting that very nuanced kind of um, complex sound. It's able to really convey, you know, a bunch of different uh, subtleties in the low. I find that a lot of headphones kind of just give you a very smoothed out kind of dulled tip to the low end. This definitely does not do that. It's able to give you uh, all kinds of different kind of tan and weird textures and whatnot. Uh, in the low frequencies, it does not leave anything just as a kind of like um, flat, sort of just straightforward sub frequency or something like that. It's very versatile and it's definitely able to kind of give a wonderful presentation of an understated, uh, you know, bass line or something like that as much as it can, you know, really like blast out some booming percussion. The bass on this is definitely pretty boosted, not an insane amount, but it is a pretty bassy headphone, I would say. It doesn't feel dominating. It's really, really uh, clean. Uh, it definitely has kind of the feel of like a uh, really clean subwoofer in like a home theater system or something like that. It's that very kind of intimate bass sound. So the mid-range on these, I was quite a big fan of in the fact that it didn't feel like it was trying to hog attention or space. I feel like the mid-range should really be kind of a, a part of the picture. It should be incorporated. It should be blended. I don't really like to notice the mid-range personally. I'm okay with, uh, you know, noticing the high end or the low end, kind of having that stand out to an extent, but the mid-range I really just want to kind of uh, marry things together and just not try to make too strong of a statement because I just find that when that happens it gets overly colored, overly stuffy, uh, and just kind of crowds things. So the mid-range on this does a great job of just being super clean and really, really precise and kind of just doing what it needs to do without trying to hog a bunch of attention. Just giving that very natural tight grip to things and having overall a really, really reliable performance. Yeah, mid-range on these, definitely, uh, you know, a pretty warmed up sound, I suppose. Some light coloring in the low mid. Uh, maybe somewhat subdued high mid, just because, like I said, it's not kind of sticking out in any area, so that does mean the high mid is probably a little bit cut to kind of uh, balance things out. So the high end on these, what I appreciated is that it doesn't feel overtly dark or bright. It just feels kind of um, 
just very intricate uh, and it's kind of displaying that intricacy without uh, being really aggressive on any sort of cut or boost. It's just very smooth sailing. Uh, it reminded me kind of of the really hi-fi high-end I hear on headphones like LCDX or Hi-Fi Man, like Ananda or something like that. That's a uh, very airy, lofty, fluid sounding and does have a crisper quality to it, but isn't uh, sort of like in your face crisp, it's just a very thin layer. So this really lets the song kind of speak for itself with the high end. It's not trying to force any sort of leveling or uh, texturizing going on. It's really just letting the song breathe and perform. Uh, and it's, once again, I think this, I need to retire the word neutral. It's just like, you could say that about a lot of things. Um, but the high end on these is once again that very organic sound and then it does have that light crispness to it But we're not gonna get any kind of like extra sizzle or snap. It's not that intense in terms of its brightness It's a, a much more understated brightness for sure Okay, so overall the Edition 11 is an incredibly special, unique headphone. It just is one of those experiences that is so, uh, you can't get it anywhere else besides maybe some other ultrasound headphones. I wish I had some more on hand to compare, I don't at the moment sadly, but these are just uh, a completely uh, different experience than you're going to get with a lot of other headphones. It's that sense of space, that huge like out of your body, outside of your head, uh, you know, imaging and width that's going on that just really allows these to, you know, completely open up new doors and new uh, avenues to your favorite, you know, sounds and music and whatnot and really let you see things in a new light, which is such a special experience to have. And it kind of makes you remember what you, you know, love audio for so much in the first place. You know, these really do uh, allow you to fall back in love with your favorite songs by giving them that kind of new life, that kind of unique perspective that you haven't had before to kind of look at them through a new lens. To have this very spatial kind of new type of immersion, uh, it's just really, really cool. And I'm clearly a big fan of these. I think that these are a headphone, you know, if you're a collector, these are definitely a must have. And if you are you know, just looking for a headphone to get that's really going to be a kind of a showstopper or is gonna really give you something new to work with. These are great for that. I'm not gonna say that they're for everyone. The, the huge, huge width on these could definitely be off-putting to some people. It could feel too wide uh, and that there's not enough going on in the middle. There's not enough kind of uh, bringing things together. I didn't feel that way but they are a unique sound. Like it's a very particular sounding headphone. It is going to give some inflection, uh, some kind of you know new uh, like reshaping of the sound because of the imaging on these, because of how huge they are. Uh, and that's something to be mindful of. If, if you want your sound to get a more classic kind of headphone performance, if you don't want a ton going on in terms of your like seeing things in a new light, then these might just feel a little bit too kind of, um, you know, reformatting of things. But I think for a lot of people, they'll just sound exciting and different and just a really fascinating experience to have sound-wise and definitely an experience worth having if you can, you know, swing the price tag. I'm really excited to just really spend some more time with them, honestly, after this even. And yeah, let me know if you have any other questions about these that I didn't answer. I'd be happy to talk with you all in the comments or post on the Major Hi-Fi forum. I'll also link the Major Hi-Fi headphone ranking tool. You can check that out if you'd like to. Um, and yeah, I'll be back soon with some more reviews and videos, and until next time, happy listening.